In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create territories and waves for AI. So think of it as if you were in a game and you kept getting stormed by AI and waves and waves of AI kept coming and maybe it was a survival mode. Well, this mechanic that I'm about to show you shows you how you can have AI respawn based on the wave that they're in. So the first thing that we need to do if we're messing with AI is draw a navigation area. To do that, we go into Create Object, AI, and then we'll click on Navigation Area. I have the grid snapping and Snap to Terrain on. So when I draw this out, we'll be able to see a little line, and we'll get to the end. And if you have Debug active like this, you'll be able to see blue. Now keep in mind, if you don't, you just need to come to Debug Agent Type, Medium-Sized Characters. So the next thing that we want to do is actually let's drag in our AI guy first. Then we can have AI. So he's in there. And since he have a, has a navigation area, we can press the middle mouse button and have him walk around. And it functions as it should. So let's turn off the physics. And then what we're going to do is add a flow graph to this guy. We'll call this one wave underscore FG. And then I'm going to go ahead and dock the flow graph into the same spot and just leave it there for the second. So now what I want to do is I want to create a territory and wave. And if you create a territory and drag it in, it's just this little icon. The next thing that we want to do is grab a wave. Now I'm going to rename the wave and call it one underscore wave. And then I'm going to rename the territory and call it one underscore territory. And with this enabled, I'm going to go to the Entity Links, and I'm going to add one. And what I want to do is I want to target this wave. So now that both of these are basically connected, I can go to my human, and I can select or declare what my territory and wave is. So one is the territory, which is one underscore territory, and the wave is one underscore wave. So now if we go into the flow graph, what we can do is grab both of these. We'll add the selected entities. So the territory is going to be first. And we need to add a start node, which is basically going to enable the territory. And then on the output of that, or enabling, we want to go to the spawn and we also want to enable. Now there's something we need to add here, which is a logic any. And then we're going to send a dead to this. Let's go ahead and set a delay on this so we have some sort of time that we can take care of it. We don't want everybody spawning too quickly. And then let's straighten this out a little bit because it's kind of crooked. So let's go ahead and do a comment. And we'll add a comment box and uh, we'll call this one Waves Mechanic. And then we'll make it white like I usually do. So I'm going to open up. And now what we can do is let's pull this off, and then we're going to snap it to the bottom so we can kind of debug it like usual. So let's zoom out. And on start, so basically it should spawn immediately. And you can see that he has T and W on him, so he's aware of what he's doing. So I'm going to go into the game, Control G, and this guy spawned. Obviously, I'm a terrible shot. And let's give it a couple seconds. And then it goes back and it spawns again. And it will do this in, in infinity. And you can take multiple humans as well. You're not limited to just this one guy. So this, in theory, is how exactly you would get the waves mechanic for a territory working so you can have your player fight off waves of AI in your game. 